Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In the last video, we have seen a brief theory introduction about half line transform. So I have told you that OpenCV implements two kind of half line transforms. One is a standard half line transform using half lines method. And the second is the probabilistic half line transform using half lines capital P method. So we are going to use the half line method in this video and see how we can use this half line method to detect the lines inside an image using half transform. Now I also told you that there are four steps associated with half transform. So the first step was the edge detection step using any uh, edge detection method, preferably Kenny edge detection. The second uh, step is the mapping of edge points to the half space and store these edge points to an accumulator. The third step was the interpretation of accumulator to yield lines of infinite length. And the fourth step was the conversion of these lines to the finite lines. So let's say we have this image of uh, this sudoku.png and you can see all these lines here which we want to detect. So this is the line and this is the line. So all these lines we want to detect using the half line tra transform. So I have already written this code. So I'm going to go step by step uh, to explain how this code works. So in the first step, you just need to import the normal CV2 and the NumPy as NP. Then here I'm just reading this uh, image using I'm read method. In the next step, I'm uh, converting this image into a grayscale image and storing it into this variable, which is gray, because for Kenny edge detection, it's uh, preferred to have grayscale images rather than your normal colored images. Now in the next step, we are applying the Kenny edge detection method on this gray scale image. So here this cv2.kenny method takes uh, these arguments. First argument is the image. Second and third argument is the first threshold and the second threshold. So I'm giving the first threshold as 50 and the second threshold here as uh, 150. And the fourth argument here, I'm giving aperture size is equal to three. Now in the next step, I'm using this half lines method. This is the normal half transform method, which is implemented in OpenCV. Now this half line method takes few argument. The first argument is the image. So we are just, uh, just passing this edge detected image to the first argument of this half lines uh, method. The second argument here is the row value. This row value is the distance resolution of the accumulator in pixels. Normally it's taken as one. The third value is the theta value, which is the angle resolution of accumulator in radians. So for that, we are uh, just using numpy. So np dot pi divided by 180. So this is also uh, typical in this method. And the next argument here is the accumulator threshold parameter. So what does this mean? It's a threshold. So only those lines are returned that get enough vote. That means that those lines will be returned which have threshold greater than this value. So starting value I have taken here as 200 as threshold. So now this half lines method is going to return the output vector of lines. Now I have explained you how polar coordinate works for the half transform in the last video. So these uh, lines will be in the polar coordinate. So each line is represented by two or three element vectors, either rho and theta or rho, theta and votes. So as you can see, this is the output vector of lines. 
so I'm going to iterate over each and every uh, line vector and what it gives is the first element of this uh, line is going to give you uh, these two values rho comma theta it's going to give you rho comma theta or rho comma theta comma vote right so right now I'm uh, using just two uh, parameters here rho comma theta so rho is the distance from the coordinate 0 comma 0 which is the top left corner of the image and the theta is the line rotation angle in radians so all this uh, rho and theta I have explained you in the last video and we have seen how we can represent these uh, rho and theta values in the half space so first of all what we are going to do is once we get the rho and theta value is we are going to uh, just get the cos theta value and the sine theta value because we want to convert these polar coordinates into the normal Cartesian coordinates for the line method because this line method as you uh, can imagine takes uh, these coordinates right which are the Cartesian coordinates so this is the point 1 parameter and this is the point 0.2 parameter so x1 y1 and x2 y2 so first of all we are just getting the cos theta value and theta here is this theta so cos theta we are just assigning to a and the sine theta value we are just assigning to b and we are just uh, multiplying this a to the rho so this will give us the x0 value and the y0 uh, value when you multiply b uh, by rho so this rho is this rho value so this x0 and y0 is going to give you the origin which is uh, 0 comma 0 or top left corner of the image but we want the lines not the top left corner of the image so how we can get these x1 and y1 coordinate and x2 and y2 coordinate uh, this is uh, given in this equation so once you get your x0 and y0 value you can get the value of uh, x1 and y1 coordinate using uh, this equation so you just need to typecast uh, everything into uh, integer so this equation x1 value stores the rounded off value of uh, rho as I have shown here so this r represent rho so rho multiplied by cos theta cos theta we have already uh, taken in the a variable so we are essentially here multiplying the rho multiplied by cos theta minus thousand multiplied by sine theta sine theta value is the value of the b right so x0 plus thousand multiplied by minus b here okay y1 we get using this equation so y1 is equal to int uh, in the bracket uh, y0 plus thousand multiplied by a which is essentially this equation which is rho multiplied by sine theta plus thousand multiplied by cos theta so these two values are going to give you the first coordinates and similarly we are going to get the x2 and y2 coordinate using these two equations so here everything is same just this minus is uh, new right so in this equation you just need to replace a plus by minus and you get the x2 value same you have to do in the case of uh, y2 so in this equation if you just replace this plus by minus you will get the y2 value and we have already seen how to use the cv2.line method it takes a few argument as you uh, can see here first is the image so image is our original image second is the x1 and y1 coordinate which is the first point comma the second point so as you already know that a line is a collection of point so you need at least two point to create a line right so this is the coordinates of the first point and this is the coordinates of the second point 
the next argument here is the color so color i have taken uh, simply 0 comma 0 comma 255 and the last parameter here is the thickness of the line which i have taken 2 here and the next line of code uh, you already uh, know i think so after this line we come out of the loop and we are just uh, plotting all the lines using this loop on the original image and once we uh, get all these lines on the original image we are just uh, showing it using i am show method and uh, at the last we are just destroying uh, our window once we are done with the image so let's uh, run this uh, code and let's see what happens so i'm going to run this code and you can see all these lines are plotted here let's see uh, the Kenny has detected uh, image also. So I'm going to just uh, after the Kenny has detection, I'm going to once again uh, add this uh, I'm show method to show the Kenny has detected uh, image also. So you can see here, this is the Kenny has detected image, all the edges are detected. And based upon uh, all these uh, lines which are detected here, these lines are drawn. But the problem here is these lines are of infinite length. So there is no end to these lines. These, these lines just go from the start or the corner of the image to the other corner of the image. So you can see they start from here and go uh, to the next corner. They don't just uh, stop here. So in this uh, half transform, you uh, see that even for the line with two argument, it takes a lot of computation and we don't even get the correct result. So this problem can be uh, solved using the other method which is implemented using this half line P method which is the probabilistic half line transform which I'm going to show you in the next video. So how we can get the better result using half line P method we are going to see in the next video so we are going to apply the half line p method on the same image and we will compare the result so that's it for this video i'm going to see you in the next video